Hey what is up everyone today in this video we'll be talking about how we can create forms in our html web page These forms are used to collect data inputted by the user so the way we can create forms in our html web page use using a tag called as a form so let's define our form right after our table let's open up our form tag and let's also close up our form tag inside the opening tag of the form we need to define two things one is going to be the action let's say let's say that we have a server uh, where we need to send the data in, uh, filled by the user so this action define takes a web page for example called as process data dot php so this is going to send the form data to the server which is then going to process the data and add it to the database and the thing which is going to be the method there can be like multiple methods the the two main important methods used in the forms are get method and a post method a get method simply is used to get the data from the server whereas a post it is used to send the form data to the server for example in our case we are using this uh, post method to send the form data to the server so this is how a form looks all right now inside this form we need to define some uh, some way a user can enter their data right so for that we will be using a tag called as input so the way we can define is uh, is using an input and let's close it input tag is not going to like surround any content so it's not going to have a closing tag so inside our opening uh, opening input tag we can define the type for example there are multiple types of input in this video we will be discussing about some very important or common input uh, input types which are used in the web page the first one is going to be of type text which is going to accept uh, input of type text let's save this and check it as you can see there we have a form field and i can fill it as you can see it accept text all right the next one is going to be let's define input and the type is going to be password this is used to accept users password suppose we are creating a login or a sign up page and we need to ask the user his password so we use this password here you know, let's type some password as you can see uh, the password is hidden all right so the, the next one which we are going to discuss here is uh, it's going to be let's add some space around here all right so input and the type is going to be checkbox let's save it and check as you can see there we have our checkbox if there is a yes or no question that we can ask the user to check mark yes or no all right so next the next one is going to be input of type sorry i misspelled the type here it's going to be the type radio it's just going to be a radio button let's save it and check as you can see we can check mark we can select the radio button for example if we want the user to like select his gender we can uh, use we can make use of this radio button radio input button all right so let's define the next one the next one is going to be the input of type submit let's save it let's refresh it as you can see there we have our submit button so when i click on the submit button it's going to send whatever is typed here whatever is whatever the uh, your user provides it will be sent to this server after right after i click my submit button next thing which we'll be discussing about here is our text area it is basically a large multi-line text box 
the anticipated number of rows and columns can be defined with the rows and calls attribute all right let's see it in action we will define a text area it's going to have a text area you can also add an opening and closing tag so let's save it and check for now as you can see there we have a large multi-line text area here we can add multi-line text all right and we can also resize it as you can see this is called as a text area uh, we can also control like how many rows we want how many columns we want for example let's say rows equal to i want rows to be five rows and i want the columns to like let's say 20 let's save it and check as you can see now it is five rows and 20 columns uh, across so th that is how we can define a text area and here i can also like uh, say a uh, big load of text let's save it and refresh as you can see here we have added text inside our text area for example if you want some something to be displayed uh, right before the user types so all right so the so that's it about text area now let's talk about select select tag uh, works with the option tag uh, for example if you might you might have seen in the website like there will be a drop drop down option for example it might ask you to select a country and it will drop down the list uh, of all the names of the country so how we can define it is using a select tag so let's define the select tag uh, let's open up the select tag here opening select tag and a closing select tag all right and inside the select tag there will be having it will be having options right for example let's define an option let's also close this option tag here i will let's say this is option one let's also create another option let's also close this option tag this is going to be option two and here let's define an option this is going to be a different one for example let's say here inside our to opening uh, opening tag we are going to add a value attribute we'll see it in action third option and here i will just say option three now let's save this and check as you can see there we have our drop down option now let's select this as you can see we have three options so what this value option value attribute does is when option one is selected we, it will send the option one when option two is selected it will send the option to the server when an option three is selected by default this value will be sent by default uh, we are setting explicitly we are saying that value of this third option will be third option and this will be sent to the server that is about uh, select how we can create drop down options let's refresh it again as you can see there we have three options so all right now let's talk about names uh, names attribute all of the tags mentioned uh, in the form will look very nice presented on the page but if you hook up your form to a form handling server like for example we have the server which is going to handle our data right the, they will all be ignored this is because the form fields need names so to all of the fields the attribute name needs to be added for example in the input text for example we can define a name we can ask the name of the user for example uh, username we can define uh, this is telling that this is telling the server that we can access uh, the data which is typed here using an attribute using this username this is going to tell the server that this uh, uh, form field is going to contain username so we need to add name to all of these all of these tags so to practice it, uh, let's head over to our another page that is our contact us uh, page. Let's open it with 
our text edit let's make this bigger so here in this contact us page we will be creating a contact us form let's get started with it so let's define a form right away uh, let me just remove this paragraph right after this contact me i'm going to define a form tag let's also close this form tag inside the opening form we need to define some attributes right the first one is going to be the action which is going to handle our form data let's say we have something called as a contact us dot php which is going to handle our form data let's also define the method as post since we are sending uh, data to the server all right in this form first let's define a paragraph saying name and right after the paragraph we will be having an input of type text and the name attribute is going to be the name and value let's say value is going to be your name all right let's save this suddenly this is not the page we need to open up our contact us page open with google chrome all right there we have a name attribute sorry a name paragraph value and this is for the name field here i can type my name and click on submit which is not added yet so and the attribute which i want you uh, which i want to show here is instead of uh, setting the value as you can see whenever if i refresh whenever the user wants to type his name he needs to remove this and add this right uh, this value uh, this value attribute adds a default value if the user doesn't add any names this value will be sent to the server so what i can do is i can just remove this and the attribute is going to be which i'm going to show you here is a placeholder your name let's refresh this as you can see it's going to be a placeholder text uh, it tells the browser it tells the user that what the user needs to enter here as you can see it uh, it goes away when i click on this and type the username it goes away right so that is how we can define uh, a placeholder text so now right after asking about user's name let's also ask them what message they want to send me here i will add a paragraph saying message let's close up the paragraph and here i will add our text area so since uh, messages can be multi-line if uh, suppose if the user wants to like if the user wants to send a very big message then in that case we need to include our text area let's open up our text area and let's also close our text area inside our text area let's add our attribute name this is going to be for message uh, let's also define rows i want uh, five rows and calls to be 20 let's also define a placeholder here i will say enter your message let's save this and check as you can see there we have our message field all right next thing which i will be defining here is i will be asking about their gender here i will add another paragraph gender let's close up the paragraph here i will be making use of the input radio type here i will define input type equals to type is going to be radio for the name i will be defining gender and the value of the radio but this radio button is going to be male all right now let's save this and check 
as you can see there we have the gender area uh, by default let's say if i want to display uh, name of the gender over here for example if i let's say let's wrap this uh, input inside a paragraph here i'll define an opening paragraph this is called as nesting of html elements right here i will uh, all right here i will close up the paragraph and here i will write mail this is going to display as you can see this is going to display right after this this is called as wrapping up uh, this is called as nesting of html elements inside paragraph we have uh, input of type radio and right after this we are defining a text mail so it's going to say it's going to uh, define here side by side similarly let's also copy this paragraph tag we are going to have another one of type radio the name is going to be gender value is going to be female let's also change this to female now let's save this as you can see there we have our two radio buttons the user can select male or female now right after this email right after this uh, gender thing let's add a colon here all right all right now let's uh, once the user fills up this we need to have a submit button uh, when the user clicks on it this uh, it, the data will be sent to this contact us.php so right after this paragraph i will define an input of type submit let's make the s small as submit all right now let's save this all right there we have our submit button as you can see we have created a contact contact us page inside the contact us page we have our very own form which the user can fill up for example let's fill up the name message let's add some message let's select the gender all right now the user user can click on submit and send the data to the server all right here we have our main page uh, here we have defined the contact us page if i click on this as as you can see it's going to take me to this contact us page all right that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something about how we can create forms in our html if you haven't liked the video please make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so in the next video we will be create it will be about summarizing all the concepts you have learned i'll be like i'll be explaining each and everything which we have learned from the start to the beginning basically it's going to be a recap of everything we have learned uh, so far that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching